Back-to-back last-minute magic in the Rose City. The Timbers have found big goals late in consecutive matches. Uh, very late. What kind of drama is in store for us tonight as Portland hosts the Columbus Crew at Providence Park? Michael Harrington turned his ankle last week. He's out. Jewsbury moves to the left. Alvis Powell starts at right back. And then Ben Zemanski in for Diego Chara. And we see, of course, Tyson Wall getting a start in the back four. Will Trapp, former player for Caleb Porter at Akron. Carlos Rivero, our referee. The whistle is blown, and we are underway. The Timbers and the crew. Thus, all of the changes along the back line for the crew. Zach Luani in the 18. Arudi turns, shoots, scores! Well, what a start for the poor Lynn Simmers, and it comes by way of Caleb Porter's decision to insert Maxi back into the starting 11. I almost thought his chance went begging because there was a heavy touch coming out of his feet as he tried to turn. But it all started with the challenge from the skipper right out the start there. Gets the Timbers on the front foot, and then Zakuani splitting the defenders, and Arudi, well, that's clinical. Sniff him, sniff up the goal, and then he's off with his celebrations. And I tell you what that will do for confidence for a young player such as him. The green smoke rises above the army. Arudi has his fourth goal for the Portland Timbers. Goals were reversed a moment ago. Zach Iwani was the central player, and Arudi was out wide for him. Jimenez to Higuain. He's going to chip Ricketts. Oh, a bit of brilliance from the Argentine. That is what that man can do, and we're all square. Sometimes all you can do is applaud. Well, he pops up in dangerous areas and gets his foot on the ball, and you see, I thought his option was to the right. With Higuain, he always, always has something special in his locker. And you can see right away, he gets a touch on his feet, and he has a look up. He sees Donovan Ricketts is off his line. And to beat a man of his frame, Donovan Ricketts, it has to be something special. And that's exactly what Higuain did there for the crew. It was pinpoint precise to find that back of the net. Inch perfect. Pipa pulls one out of his bag of tricks. Not sure what the idea was there. Arieta giving him a backwards look. Powell comes in extremely late. That's a straight red card. Parson is down. And a rush of blood to the head of a 19-year-old. And the Timbers will have to play the remaining moments of this match down a man. Well, it's all kicking off now on the pitch as well, too. Our first replay. The, you, you see, it's a, it's a heavy touch by Powell, and he's trying to recover. I don't think there's any malice in it, but it's more how the body is flipped over afterwards. But it makes it perhaps a little worse for sight than it actually is. But you see the follow through. The ball is already gone, and I think that's what the referee has seen. Because the ball is gone, and Powell, it's when he follows through afterwards. That he's come, and, and you can see the dramatic lift of the body. And for the referee, I think that's the decision he had to make. Larry and Nagby come short. Higuain. Like footy. Got a bit of uh, Gonzalez there, and it is a penalty kick. That's what I thought I saw. Now, whether it is, was enough to deserve a kick from the spot for the crew, that is what. Jose Carlos Rivero has decided. Yeah, well, if you watch Carl on the replay here and the Marky Machani, as the ball comes into the box, you see that right arm. He's pulling the shirt, and you look at the referee's position. He's looking at that pull of the shirt. It's footy, of course. I think as the ball goes in, you're right. I think 
think he's actually maybe he's calling footy. We'll get clarification of it. But on both sides, you see the shirt pulled by Kyle, but you also see the right arm of Footy. So the referee is seeing one of those, and he's calling up for the pen. Federico Iguain stutters, shoots, and scores. Low to Ricketts right. The crew have turned this match on its head. 2-1 Columbus. Portland now not only down a man, but down a goal, and right at the stroke of the completion of the first half. Well, if you think back to last year, Higuain, he had a penalty against Ricketts, and he went the same side, except he put it a, a yard too wide. This year, steps up against Ricketts, tucks it in to the exact same side he tried for a year ago. Calm, cruel, collected. You give the official an opportunity to make that call. Off the woodwork, a wide open look for Hector Jimenez from nothing. With all of this space all over the park now for Columbus. Well, you look at this ball by Higuain, and Ka, he's gone in too much. He's committed himself and left himself in no man's land. But what about that skill to flick it over Zemanski, to play the ball in? And you can see that inches away, I think, for me, the game being over. Slightly off the post there. Rick is fortunate enough to see that ball. Go up for a goal kick. Jimenez has to finish that. That is a lifeline for the Timbers. That is a lifeline for Port Guayne dribbling right down the middle of the park. Nagby in pursuit. Darlington did that last week to stop an attempt on goal by Janino. Takes it off Iguain there. And the Timbers are still in this match with over 20 minutes to play. Valeri, overhead kick, gets it back into Zemanski's area, gets beyond his defender, finds Will Johnson! Saved by Steve Clark and a header away by Tyson Wall. Well, I'll tell you what, it deserved a goal, because that is top quality football. And it all started from Darlington Navy at the back, we go back to the spectacular play of Columbus Crew, how they go on the front foot, but then it was Darlington Agby. They're spectacular play as the Timbers. They win the ball back, and it's how they get forward. And Valeria, it's a fantastic ball in behind. But watch this flick as it comes by Zemanski to go beyond the defender, and then he picks his head up as Will Johnson comes streaking in, making the edge of the box, and it's a fantastic strike. I'll tell you, the Timbers look like the team that's playing up a man at the moment. I'll tell you what, what tremendous spirit by this lot to be on such a front foot. Jules Barry trying to chest into his path, a bit too far out, Johnson! Yes! Deflected in, but do you care? We're all square. To get your goal, it was going to be Will Johnson. What tremendous play by Footy, the composure to get the Timbers on the side. Jack Jewsbury, great touch here to take himself into the box. But the crew, they failed to clear it. And who pops up for them? Will Johnson. He's been sniffing around that area and deservedly so gets a goal. Oh, no. A dagger to the heart. Iguain can't believe it. Columbus, in less than a minute, have jumped back out in front on a deflected shot. Well, there's plays that can absolutely crush a team. You see, the overlap is used as a distraction. And as it's cut inside, it's a deflection that unfortunately takes the ball in behind Ricketts. A man who just entered the match, Ethan Finley, off the chest of a twisting footy. Ricketts helpless. And Portland got. Don't forget to vote for your Century League Man of the Match on the Timbers Facebook page. Valeri, underspun chip. Adi gets his head on it! Gaston Fernandez is there! 
The poacher has scored again. Thanks to the flick on header by the new man. It is three all. <laughs> How about an introduction to the Portland Timbers football club for Fernando Adi. And you look at it, it's a great ball in, but you see the, and the linesman is spot on because Gaston Fernandez has timed this to perfection. But what an introduction by Adi. It's that physical presence, that number nine that the Timbers were hoping for, and he does his job with the first touch on the ball. Oh, it's magic. And I think the linesman has been spot on because Anor has kept Gaston Fernandez in an onside position.